So what is going on guys, it is Puncture Pry. Welcome back to South Park Fractured Butt Hole. And I literally just finished recording Emily Wants to Play and if, uh, here's the flashback of what happened at the very end. <laughs> What caused me to ask you guys help? And I'm glad to be back at South Park because again, my channel is a horror games genre. But every so and so, I'd like to step back and try some other things. And here we are, back in South Park. Let's go. So I had to do this bit again, but we will just see. Okay. We'll see if we can get a longer episode in. That's what I'm trying to say. Hey there, are you one of Craig's friends? You looking for Craig? Who's this dude? Me? Let's just say I'm an art collector specializing in a delightfully modern and extremely confusing Asian art form known as Yaoi. Crazy, right? But this stuff is worth a fortune to the right buyer. If in your adventures you find any of these, bring them to me. I will reward you handsomely. Okay. Come back with any new pieces you find. I guess. Not bad, new kid. Not bad. Way to go out and get some followers on Instagram. I think you're ready for the next level. Head back to the coon layer. Coon out. So, we're going back to the coon layer. Stop, new kid. Stop. You see all those little red Lego bricks? That's lava. You try and cross lava, you die. Don't even touch it. Wait, this, this doesn't even make sense. Who would put lava there? <laughs> Take that, Coon friend. <laughs> That's right, Coon. I have strategically placed lava throughout the town. I can't make it too easy for you. What good is the world without a little chaos? <laughs> okay, turn it off now. We'll deal with chaos when the time is right. For now, we have to keep our eye on the prize. Coon, out. Guys, just look at my character's face. He just does not look into it at all. Just look at him. So here we go. Oh, we, now watch we this could. Bro. This one I learned from Usher, bitches. Hey, okay. Wrong button again. So apparently the greenhouse is the coon layer. Wait, punch it. Oh yes, very nice. Fuck. You, mom. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Being a superhero is a little harder than you thought, huh? It's okay. You totally suck, but I can't help but feel sorry for you because your dad fucked your mom for a job. Come this way. I'm gonna teach you about artifacts. You see, most superheroes augment their abilities with specialized equipment. You see this? It's a strength artifact. It's a fidget spinner. You find things like these all over town. The trick is to equip them into your artifact slots. Go on. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. There it goes nothing. Every artifact has a specific place it can be slotted on your body. Equip this one to boost your strength stats. Oh yes. Increase your hero rank to unlock new Might artifacts. Be a at first. Your DNA is fusing with it. You'll find more artifacts out there during your superhero adventures. You can even craft your own. Just remember. With great power comes great checks and money. I remember that for next time. Those six graders now. Go give them hell. My lord. Apparently we should take them on. Like, I don't know if we should, but... Here we go. Wow. We did it. Wow, that was easy. 
Okay, that was pretty badass. We make a good team. See ya, man. All right, that was sweet. Wait until it gets on the internet about how the Coon and friends beat up four sixth graders. This is great for our franchise. Kind of sucks for you, though, new kid, because now the sixth graders are going to be coming after you. You probably should have done that. That was pretty stupid. Kato, go and get our franchise more followers. Very nice. Warning, you have five seconds to comply. Five, four, three, two, one. What she happens to say that approaching an area with controlled substances. Step away from the door or you will be terminated. They do nothing. That's raisins, new kid. Mosquito must be inside. Get in there, but do not be tempted by their amazing wings and hot bitches. There goes nothing. I need more followers. One of our raisins girls will be right with you. Isn't he just the cutest thing? He sure can eat a lot of wings. <laughs> yeah, so so then I flew into the sky and I beat up all the bad guys. Wow, I didn't know mosquitoes can be so tough. <laughs> yeah, well, ever heard of the Zika virus? Another plate of wings, cutie? Sure, just put them on my tab. Big spender. Hey, beat it, kid. These are my women. What superhero are you? Super, wait. Oh my god, the bishop! My fellow superheroes! I've completely forgotten! Back away, temptresses! Mosquito knows what you were trying to do! Uh, what are you talking about, kid? The raisins girls are Mosquito's kryptonite! You gotta get me out of here! Uh, well, okay then, here's your bill! <laughs> I think not! You tried to charm me, I will not pay this bill! <laughs> you have to leave a tip, asswipe! They aren't going to let us go without a fight, kid! Let's do this! <laughs> It goes nothing. Mosquito was coming with us. No chance. See, Mr. Mosquito. We did it. Come on, this is our chance. Huh, oh, those witches are my kryptonite. And you must have saved me just in time. I'm forever in your debt. But, hero, what is your kryptonite? Dude, you can't be a superhero without something that you're powerless against. Yeet! Any particular phobas? Any emotional hang-ups? I mean, come on, there's gotta be something. <laughs> Look, it's okay, I'm on your team, but kid. You can tell me. What? Alright, alright, let me see your character sheet. Take your time, it's a performer of a samurai guy, huh? Let's go for ninjas. Great! Job done! Your kryptonite is officially noted. Mosquito, no, mosquito must be up. Call on me if you should need me, Coon Ramp. Okay, we did it. So, I beg your pardon? School's here, yeah. South Park Elementary. Talk to the cancer. And the cancer's over there. What has the cancer got to say? Drugs are bad. Oh, hi. You're the new kid, right? Oh, great. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. As your counselor, 
You can talk to me about anything, okay? I understand you want to talk mm, about... Okay. Okay, see, I'm highly trained in, um, uh, sex <laughs> issues, okay? And you don't have to be afraid. Okay, new kid, it's, it's really simple. When, uh, when you want to talk about your sex, you simply... You can start by simply saying, you know, I'm, I'm a boy or a girl or other. Boy, right, exactly, you got it. Now, new kid, this might get confusing, but listen close, okay? If you were born a boy, that's called being a cisgender boy, okay? Or cis for short. But, well, you, you might have transitioned into being a boy. You see what I mean? If you were not born a boy, but now a... I d identify as one, well, that's called being transgendered, okay, or trans for short. So, uh, do you identify as being cisgendered or transgendered? Okay, can you just hang on a minute? I need to call your parents. Just take a second. Okay. Uh, hello, this is Mr. Mackey, the school counselor. Yes, hi. Uh, I have your child here in my office, and well... He's just let me know that he's cisgender. That means he identifies with the sex he was assigned at birth. Oh, you knew that. Okay. Ooh. No, no, it's it's fine. I just wanted to make sure that you knew he had other options. You know, you don't you don't always have to go with the first hand you're dealt. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's great. That's great to know. Uh, I think I can really maybe be of help from here on out. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Bye bye now. Okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk. As a cisgendered male myself, I know how hard it can be out there for a boy who chooses to love someone of the opposite sex. Just remember, love is love. Even if you're a guy who happens to like kitty. Oh, great. Cis male? Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. Okay. That was... Really something, you know. Can't actually... I need to get the freak out of here. will do so I think what we'll do I'll meet the father at the church then we'll go to Freeman Stackos and I think we'll call that an episode so I guess guys I will meet I will meet you there
guys, we're here. And we're gonna enter. Well, hello, new child. I haven't seen you before. But you come at a crucial time. South Park is sliding into moral decline. Someone's stealing our cats. They're peeing houses. Okay, maybe it's not full on Armageddon yet, but we do need a hero. Not to make the heart sell, but do you see yourself as a good person? Well, I can understand the confusion, but there comes a time when we need to choose our path. Will you find Jesus and take the righteous path? Or maybe you'll walk the middle way. Let's not talk about the third alternative. I'm hoping you're part of the solution, not the problem. Take the first step, my child, by entering this meditative chamber, which will allow um. you to confront your deepest fears. Face your fears, new child. Face your fears. Your dad fucked your mom. You afraid of the dark? Snakes? The color blue? Oh, hey, I'm in your imagination. Just a friendly Catholic priest who would like to get to know you a little better. Yeah, that's right. I'm totally in your imagination, too. About to give you a shoulder rub. Ever imagine you'd feel something like this? Let me adjust the lighting in here a bit so we can get some visual. This is stuff. weird. Oh, I guess this one likes it rough. No complaints here. Oh, another slot. We will check that out before we head to the taco shop. God damn it! I can't put a child in a dark room for two minutes without you bastards showing up. Well, you're definitely going to hell now. Get out of here! That's not what the Queen Spider <laughs> says. I'll go say ten mil Harry's. Well, gosh, I feel just awful about all that. Tell you what, a rabbi friend gave me this macaroni picture. In times of trouble and tribulation, use it to call upon the prophet Moses. Good luck on your spiritual journey, my child. Okay. So, we are currently at the 30. So we can. We should probably use that. Now we're at 61. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now we will head to the taco shop. And then guys, I think I probably will meet you there. Welcome to Freeman's Tacos. If there's anything I can interest you in, well... Morgan Freeman! Just let me know. What? Maybe when you're better at crafting, I'll take a selfie with you. You know what we're doing? Maybe when you're better at crafting, I'll take a selfie with you. Ah, oh, sucks. Freeman's Tacos is completely craft your own. You know what crafting is, don't you? Just open up that crafting menu and we can get started. You can combine food items into whatever you like. Let's start with a staple, the burrito. A warm tortilla wrapped around, well, any old something. Here, I'll give you what you need to get started. <laughs> this here. Now to just now that you've had your first taste of crafting, let's dig in. You can combine food items into whatever you like. Go ahead. See what happens if you combine a burrito and an enchilada. Congratulations, new kid. With an enchilada and a burrito, you've crafted an injurito. That's the first time anyone's ever done that. And what the hell? Have a few more recipes. They might just save your stupid ass. Nothing left to do now but document this moment in human history. 
with the selfie. We did it. Guys, I'm going to take this moment. This is going on Twitter and Instagram. We're taking a picture with Morgan Freeman. Sorry, I'm not doing a duck bait. Okay, let's never do that again. Another one, huh? Well, all right. Okay, let's never do that again. And just one more thing. They say that some farts are so powerful they can actually bend the fabric of time. You be careful out there. New kid, you've done a decent job so far. Come back to the coon layer. I think we should advance your character. Coon out! That would be pretty cool. I always want to advance our character before I end the episode. That means we might have a new power. Hey, new kid, where to? Better run fast. Okay, we just found. We literally just found a fast travel location, and there's one outside Cartman's house anyway. So, yeah, I was gone for like a second. See you, new kid. Call on me whenever you want to get somewhere. <laughs> Call on me whenever you want to get somewhere. Call on me whenever you want to get somewhere. It's a great character though. We look like an actual assassin. I like, I like changing to like the actual Assassin's Creed outfit, like the robes. Fuck. You, mom. Ah, new kid, come, take a seat. All right, well, how's it going out there? It's going good, you know. Okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm going to upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm going to let you do a class. Let's pick another ability to add. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Elementalist. Brutalist. I don't know. Elementalist. Cyborg. Psychic. I think that would be pretty cool. Cyborg. So of that. Elementalist. Blaster. So yeah, what an amazing moment for you. You must be excited. I'm gonna go with Blaster because I think that is probably the best. Brutalist. That's a blaster with range powers like Cyclops. Oh yeah, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're gonna Speed need to Speed and fire, you know. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night. But the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You okay, we'll do this as well. We probably will have to do you it again, you know. If anyone would ever love you, then you heard a noise, but but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you yeah, had we did. to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power. As a blazing blaster hero, you began to overheat as the fire in your belly ignited. You wasted no time delivering sick burns into the villains before you. Oh! As the flames clear, the intruders realized what they were up against. Shit! This little flamer means business! Didn't your mom tell you not to play with fire? The intruders moved in to attack! <coughs> You've left us no choice, kid. With the enemies closing in, you gave yourself some space by knocking your foes back. Here we go. Oh! Flame on. 
But the intruders wouldn't take getting pushed around lightly. Hey, you can't push us around like that. They set themselves up for destruction. So much range. I'll just get out of the way. His comrade fallen. The extra ugly one closed in. Oh, ultimate ready. I want to see what so ultimate right is. Now, you little flamer. Yeah, we showed him. You were gravely injured. But the intruder's blows only awaken the fires that burn within you. Swallow the pain and unleash your ultimate attack! Did that really happen? And so you beat them! You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe, and then that's when the unthinkable happened! You saw your dad. Fuck your mom. Then on you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Unit friends alert! Unit friends alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! It's unit friends alert! Mrs. Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pal! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! We're coming, Coon! Ah! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! So, we got like a new type of app thing, maybe? So guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, I think we've been going for a while now and I just don't want to, you know, completely make this like too long. Like the member Dan, the final episode, I didn't mean to um, play it as long as I did. I thought it meant to be like 45 minutes but I just kept playing, playing, playing. It's one of those games where I'm glad I played when I did. Only three parts, but it is worth it. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Remember, punch the pride.